It's a two-part competition, as we say. We've had the jumping this morning. This is going to be the agility round. There are separate awards for each category. So although some of them might have been eliminated, they'll still be competing. There we go, Bill Glover. Great, uh, great honor for him. Uh, he was saying he's a little bit nervous about it, but he's supremely confident in his he own He won't ability. be nervous now, he's out there. Once you're out there, it's different. As soon as the first dogs run, Peter, like, yeah. I, I, I know from experience, as soon as the first dogs run and the course is running okay, he's got the time right, um, he will then start to settle down. So we start with the large dogs. Large dogs coming first then. So first up on the start line there, Sean Hunt with Fix, this four-year-old Border Collie. Get in a fix is the full name. This is the pull round there to three. It sets the course for us all. Ooh. And the dog so ran around the jump, so that's the refusal. It's so a, a very late indication, actually, by the he, he was caught him by surprise. Sometimes, as a judge, Peter, you, you don't signal in haste. You, you consider it just for a moment. Which is the correct thing for Absolutely. a judge to do. If you rush to judgment, you often can get it yep. wrong. But this will give us some idea of where the course goes. As I say, he's had five faults. He just, what he wants to do is not get eliminated. There we go. Well done, Sean. Five faults, 36.27. Oh, that, there's the run past. Very early mistake there. Mm. As I say, I anticipate that most of our faults are going to come in the same. This obstacles one to six. And this is Joe Thorpe now with Kip, Border Collie. They come from Upminster. Just to the east of London. <coughs> Deals with that by doing a little twirl and taking the dog around the outside of it. Nicely done. Oh, and an elimination. And that keeps her out of the championship because they went the wrong way on the uh, wrong entrance of the hard tunnel. So unfortunately, we won't be seeing her this evening. Uh, but as you say, as you see later on, the, the dog walk is pointing right at the wrong end of the tunnel. Um, and they have to pull them across the Quite face. Quite deliberately, we have to say. So in the wrong end, to, and the handler has to take control there. The but they finish the course, dog doesn't know he's made a mistake. Happy as can be. Didn't I do well? No, you didn't, but we still love you. What there have I done wrong? What a shame. This is uh, one from a very well-established stable of uh, Border Collies, and Nedlow Detox Sproglet, <laughs> Greg Derrett with Detox. This five-year-old border collie. Absolutely, he was a member of the uh, Great Britain World Championship team this year, and the team won a team silver jumping medal, so uh, done fantastically well. Great tactician is uh, Greg. He'll know exactly what he needs to do. He may not have his foot fully on the accelerator this afternoon. His aim will be to qualify. Absolutely. He knows because the dog is quick, he isn't going to be running one of the slower dogs. So if he can go clear, he'll be fine. But mustn't get complacent about it. And that's nice. Says this is one of the quickest dogs he's ever owned. It's either that or he's getting older. But well done, Greg. Maybe 2.69 is a good time, isn't it? Actually, that guarantees him a place in the final. I think probably just about, as you say, uh, we're looking to get in the top uh, in the top ten competitors when the results have been combined. So somebody's Katie been up long now, starting with Copper, this working sheepdog, four years old. Copper's second time in the championship. Oh, and there's an elimination. Oh, heartbreaking when you do it so soon in the round. There, she. She really did seem to be drawing the dog around the correct way, but the dog took no notice of her, went straight behind her. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll get a chance to have another look at that. Peter, I was just about to say before she got eliminated that she's been having a really good year. And so <laughs> luckily I didn't, sir, because she'd have blamed me otherwise. But um, look at that. She's just waiting for the dog to complete the weaves independently. That's such a shame. Unlucky, Katie. If we watch this, her body is, is qu does quite a determined move here. Watch this, there she goes. Takes her eye off the dog. That's correct, yep. but this is actually tried to bring it round in front of her. Didn't bending take any down, notice. bending forward again, you see. That's the thing. 
Yes, there's the elimination. Instead of turning to the right. Ian Jackson now with Bobby, five-year-old border collie, very local here from rugby. Rugby dog training club, been very successful over the years. Just starts the dog with a nod, which is slightly unusual. There he goes. Oh, he opts to go the other way around there. Well, so that was cheeky. Uh, that at least got them uh, through that little bit. So oh. the problem. Whoa. Got away with it. Oh, 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 didn't get away with it. Went through the wrong way. Oh, what a shame. That sort you out. That's it. Oh, dear. I thought he'd actually he pulled the dog or stopped it before it went in the tunnel, but uh, what quite happened after well, that, I don't know. Then, then went into the tunnel wrong, even so. Afterwards. Been stopped, yes. But, and that's where it's... It, this sport really is all about communication, Peter. You, you have to have this perfect partnership between the dog and the handler all the time. I'll just see that again, because it's... Uh, Off Here we go time. now. See, he stops, he the stops dog. it, brings it round, and it goes back in. So unlucky. So this is Lee Windiat. Again, very successful over the years, isn't he, Lee? Unfortunately, uh, picked up an E this morning. Oh, so he's out. He won't yeah, take part yeah. later. But this, he can still win this competition. And he's bold as the water collie, eight yep. years old. From some sitting born in Kent. So he just turned the dog round him at the end of the dog walk. Nice, smart move that. There we go. Changing again in front of the A frame, making sure he gets the dog on the right, on the correct side rather, for going over the wall. Arms up, cueing the dog for the turn. Nicely done. Good time, 32.78. Second place today in this competition. If you watch here, we'll get the handle. Look at him, he turns. Smart turn, that, yep. And again, changes sides in front of the A-frame. There's that signal with the arm. It's very distinct, isn't it? He's got Absolutely. his own way of controlling. We'll get a chance to talk about it later on, Peter, but it's what we call queuing the dog before it goes over the next obstacle. Lee Gibson now with Scott, five-year-old Bordy Collie. They come from Shrewsbury. Yeah, was a teammate of Greg Derrick in, uh, in winning the silver jumping medal at the World Championships this year, having a really great year as uh, Lee. If you notice, he's all, not in the dog's face. But, oh! Boy, rescued that it. counted as a refusal. Rescued so it. got five. What they... I mean, it's often been described, what's the difference between a great handler and a good handler? And it's the ability to think on your feet and deal with unforeseen circumstances. Great, well done. 35.17, but with those five faults. There we go. Oh, he just had a twitch towards that side, didn't he? He won't be happy about that. Still, avoided, avoided an elimination. As you say, Bill Glover very knows his rules well, but I thought he was a little harsh there. This is Jane Seller with Wiz, the six-year-old boy, the collie from Morton in Northumberland. Oh, that counts as an elimination. The dog ducked under. <coughs> just went under the step, just underneath there. Unlucky for Jane. Yeah, just uh, fractionally All the errors like are happening there. in the first third of this course, in the very first bit or in the just that first time they're going to a rigid tunnel. Not too many problems with the latter half of the and course. And that's part of a good course design. A little bit of technical handling at the beginning lets them open out. A little out. bit of speed later on, yes, exactly. Hopefully we're going to see the elimination. Call to dog, call to dog. And look, yeah, what a great decision by the judge. Just ducked under. There's your elimination. Well, you have to be harsh. Anthony Clark now with Ruby, a six-year-old border collie, blazing red of Ruja is the name. This was uh, this morning's From winner Lech of the jumping. Lechley, and uh, you've lost the show, Winner of this morning's competition and also the third member of this uh, silver medal jumping team from the World Championship. Jumping as opposed to agility. Absolutely, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, well done. My word, this dog's quick. You, you can hardly you feel the dog's barely looking to see where he is, but it must be. It's paying attention. Otherwise, it wouldn't know where it was supposed to go. And it's probably only nine tenths speed at the moment. Just trying to qualify, and they're going to do that easily. Well done. Thirty-three point one five clear.
third yeah, place well now. Third place this afternoon. David Leach next with the Belgian Shepherd Dog, Malinois variety. Very impressive. David's very first quick dog. dog. First yep. ever dog. Amazing. Uh, he's been to the Belgian World Belgian Shepherd Dog World Championships, represented Great Britain last year at the Europeans. As you'll see, this is a fantastic dog. Just watch it. Look. I think we saw it yesterday, didn't we competing? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Turns in front of the A-frame there. The Malinois, of course, uh, Look at that. being used now as a police dog. Changes behind, come on. 32.09, quickest on the day and clear in the lead. Turns in front of the A-frame as opposed to some people who have gone the other side. Yeah, There's a good run by David Leach and Rusty there. No errors, faultless. There we are. Immediately goes to the dog to give it its praise. Absolutely brilliant. Dave Alderson with Goose. Two-year-old border collie. Come from Carlisle up in Cumbria. Lots of sheep up there. Oh, look at this. The way it creeps. Oh, that is so funny. Only two years of age. <laughs> I think uh, we'll certainly see this dog win in a year or so. Uh, just lacks a fraction of experience, but uh, Dave Alderson is probably one of the most experienced uh, handlers we've got in this country. So if anybody can keep a young dog together, he can. It's very interesting. I was watching how he stands where he doesn't want the dog to go. He blocks it. He knows where it is. Both the really awkward spots that he gets in that position and blocks the way. Can't go that way. Clever. Look at that. Come on, Dave. It's a good time. Well done. Oh, he's in second place, 32.38. Um, Very tight. Absolutely. Our production team in the uh, control gallery, my word, they're enjoying this. They were going shooting for that goal, that uh, last one. That's the one they want to win the championship. They must have money on that, I think. <laughs> He's got a double chance. He's running this his poodle as well in the oh, small part of it. So, well, let's catch up with Sean Millingworth oh, uh, with Edie or Edie. It's a border collie, four years old from Shirley in uh, Surrey. Oh, they're that. quick. Oh, they yeah. are quick. Eddie's a fantastic dog. He's been he's uh, done brilliantly this year. Sean's also in the medium championship as well. Look at this dog. Oh, and the time's terrific. The time's good. The time's very good. Oh, they're going in the lead. Oh, well done. Yes, there they are, 31.22. My word. Look at that. They're getting faster and faster on this course. Well done, Sean. Well done, Edie. Here comes Dawn Weaver now with her beardy cross. Breezer, it's called. It's five years old. This dog love, loves swimming, oh, loves hunting, so loves all, all the activity, activities oh, that Dawn gives it. Wasting a bit of time there, but it doesn't really matter as long as they qualify. She's got to get it accurate. Opting to stay this inside as well, down that line, past the long jump. The trouble with that, Peter, is you, you risk pulling them off the tunnel if they get too far in front of you. But uh, nicely done there by Dawn. Always turns out really well trained dogs here. And I think we're going to see her with Puzzle Actually, later on. She's been deceptively quick as yep. well. Look at this. My word, that is quick. I'm saying she lost a bit of time early. 33.15 there in fourth place. Together with Anthony Clark. Yeah, thought it was going towards the tunnel, and it didn't. And look at the style through there. I think it's in three poles at once there, Peter. <laughs> Working sheepdog here, Josh on the start line, six years old, with Peter Elms from West Calder. Rescue dog, this. Yeah, unfortunately, one of this morning's eliminations. So that'll put him out for this evening, and unfortunately, they're just jumping off the end of the dog walk. Yes, five, so they're not going to win this competition either. There we are. Again, just opting to change, stay that side and change behind the wall. There's all sorts of different ways you can handle that. And now ten faults in total. Or rather two there we go. Well done, Peter, all the way down from Scotland. Uh, 
be really disappointed, I think we're going to see, there we are, let's just see, yep, no problems for the judge there. It's a shame though, it was, a, it was a, a quick round, good quick round. Will Rolf and Scoot now, Scoot another Border Collie, another of those Ned Lowe kennel dogs. Yep, won the uh, singles last year here and did really well in the jumping round this morning. Took oh. a bit, he took a bit of a tumble this morning, Peter, but he's okay. There we are. It's all about control. Who's there that, Will or the dog? That took Will. A tumble. <laughs> there you go. Oh. oh. That long jump went down. For a judge, it's so easy to miss something like that because you're concentrating on the dog going forward, but. Uh, Bill it's doesn't miss much. He's not missed a thing. He's no. been absolutely accurate. That's why he's here, Peter. Yes. Well done. 32 Unlucky is a good time, but it's not good enough because they've got five points. Centre dog and legs it across there. Look at that scoop round that jump. All about communication. Fantastic. Here we go. There he goes. Oh, oh and it just rocked back. That was so unlucky. Almost stayed up. Well, this is Agnes Campan with Manouk, Border Collie. Five years at this, this creeps every time. <laughs> she's, had all, she's had this problem all week. The dog creeps forward. She likes to get well ahead after her, to keep the dog under control. <laughs> she it's wants creep, to be. It's she wants to be at number two. That's where <laughs> she wants to be. <laughs> Because she wants that to be there to cue this dog around that number two jump. The tighter she can get round it, the better her time's going to be. Just lets the dog settle. Now, I don't know what she's going to do. Will she let it go? How long do you wait? That's the problem, Peter. Comes round the side nearest to us this time round that wing. That gained a little time. That's the quickest we've seen through that. Lost then a bit of time, the time there. Take being careful about the contact point. But qualification is what's important. Oh, another oh, one. Oh, dear, another one on the long jump. Two on the row there we've seen. Hard luck on you. <laughs> yeah, this, it is a, it's quite a subtle way that he's designed the course there, Peter, because he's put a control yeah, obstacle yeah, yeah, for the yeah, seesaw. Yeah, oh, well done, Anya. Well, I'll, just, uh, I'll carry on talking about that in a minute, Peter. Yeah. Two, three, you see that? Just that jumping fault. Just makes it wait while well, she gets in position but yeah. loses, loses a load of time. And again, the dog is looking to turn towards her, but then she's pointing it away. So it's a little bit of lack of communication there. This is Cash, five-year-old border collie from uh, Thornley in Durham. With Sarah Kitching. Very vocal and enthusiastic dog here. In fact, there's a bit of ha double handling going on because Sarah's actually expecting in June, so she's done really well. But she told me she planned the pregnancy to end in June so that she could get the rest of the summer in competing, Peter. But, but <laughs> it wasn't her mother supposed to be actually running the dog, but her mother's got a bad knee, so <laughs> yeah. she, she's taken over the dog there. Look at this. Well, this is good. The other they're clear and they're quick. They are quick. Not going to win it, but they go oh, nicely qualified. They're well 32.75 clear. Nicely done, and then we're going to see these weaves, and the handler's well out of shot. The dog's doing that totally independently, Peter. Absolutely yes. fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Last one of the large dogs. This is uh, Sean Young with uh, Gracie, his six-year-old working sheep dog. Lovely little dog. There's not the biggest of border collies, but she tries 110% for Sean. Lovely and tight there. He wastes no time on these corners as well. Again, opting to turn in front of the dog walk, taking the option of the wrong end of the tunnel completely out of the equation. And again, changing this side of the A-frame beautifully into the weave. Just lots of encouragement. This is going to be really good. He'll time, turn behind her. Yeah, again, no push too much. Oh, well. Yes, great time, 31.83. <laughs> I'm sure we won't see that one again. Well, we might. <laughs> oh, boy, I love it. But look how tight that dog is round there. He'll be really pleased. Absolutely wonderful. Brilliant. And then probably uh, 
I think we've got the best, the best, the best, the best obstacle of the day. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the dog's all right. That's all I can say. Uh, woo. <laughs> Ever felt a yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see I did. And the crowd loving this, Peter. I mean, Absolutely. they can just see from the pictures there, it, it, there's uh, getting on pretty well for full again. Yeah, it's pretty full in here. There must be nearly 6,000 people in here now. It's absolutely marvellous. The course, of course, now been raised to the, uh, rather lowered, to the medium dog level. And the first one's going to be Alan Gardner with Jude. It is, uh, Peter. yes. It's an eight-year-old dog, this one. Sixth consecutive year here at Crufts. That says something, doesn't it? Great dog, this. Uh, represented this country many times. Alan's always a very enthusiastic oh, handler. Oh, five. That's a shame. oh, dear, what a shame. And unfortunately, it uh, was one of the very few eliminations that we had this morning, which is a very unusual for Alan. And he, again, opted to go totally the opposite side of, that everybody else has gone down the dog walk. And I think that stems from having had an early jump down. Your mind plays on it, so you don't concentrate 101% on what you're doing. Again, opts to stay this side, and he'll change behind the wall, I think. There we go. Well, this is a dog well into its veteran time now, eight years old, and... Uh, oh, no, oh, missed out a jump. Been it's going to be a good time. Again there, but never mind, dog's finished the course. Well done, Alan. Yeah. Yeah, Tony Dawkins uh, on the start line, just got rid of the lead there. Minx is a nine-year-old border collie. Another one that creeps forward. <laughs> <laughs> it won't move, though, I guarantee you that. Yeah, great pairing this now. Uh, Minx now nine years of age. Tony getting well in front of it. She's a fantastic handler, this girl. Ooh. Oh, dear. That is That's unusual. five there. Sending the dog, collecting it again for these turn here onto the A-frame. Just waits for it. Yeah. Oh, oops. Not having a good day today, Tony. Never mind, but you'll see her at the end. She'll still, that dog will still be the best dog in the world to her, and that's what it should be. Well done. Look at that big smile. 35.67, but with uh, two faults in there. Just a, a little bit of clarification on that. Oh. Uh, the final tonight um, that they are really qualifying for at the moment. Uh, in that uh, the qualification, do they all start from scratch tonight in the championship final? Yes, they do. They do. So yep. nothing that's happened before has any bearing other than the qualification. No, no, no. Uh, uh, and a totally different course. Yep. So. Uh, they just need to get through these first couple of rounds yeah, and finish this in the top noisy 50%. One. This is a Guinness, a working cocker, nearly five years old, with Kevin McIntosh, come from Inverurie up in Aberdeenshire, beautiful part of the world. Yeah, it's a bit of an argument going on out there at the moment, I think, Peter. Didn't like the look of that tunnel. Yeah, it's a refusal there. So five. And again, it's a test of confidence because these dogs, when, it, when they're in a, a, an arc like that, can't see the other end. So it's all dark when they're going in there. The five ends of disaster it may not win the competition that we're watching at this immediate moment, but he'll certainly qualify, I would think, with just five. 30 or oh, 40.02. Much slower. And just time on the course is 40 time. seconds. No one's been near that before, so they got just 0.02 of a time fault as well. So we've got Ashley Butler with Pudsey. Pudsey's a little crossbreed, six years old. They come from Wellingborough in Northamptonshire. Now they've taken part in your team, haven't they? They're members Absolutely, of your team. Yep. Uh, Ashley's come up through the ranks of the uh, Young Kennel Club, great organisation. She is. Uh, a very, very good dog trainer. This is a fantastic little dog. He does heel work to music obedience. Dogs are Ashley's life, and you can see why she's she's brilliant. He is hard work, though. I can tell you that. Uh, Mark and his enjoyment turns again. Neat turn there in front of the A-frame. Look at that. What a great character this dog is. She'll change behind. Oh, oh too quick. Oh. One refusal. Oh, what a shame. 
Thought we were going to see our first medium-sized clear round, those five faults. Such a shame. I was just going to say that she was going to change change behind the dog, and before the dog was committed, she moved. So look look at her. She just, yes. yep, yep, sh yep, right shoulder came forward. Such a shame. My word, it is getting so technical. Oh. Well, that, that's always a danger. I could sit here and talk all day about one dog and what's happened. This is Sean Ellingworth again with Jazzy. Uh, you saw her earlier on with uh, with Eddie. Yes, this is a, an eight-year-old Border Collie this time. Medium-sized. Last year or so, it's been uh, a real great competition oh, between her and the Tasha Wise. But, uh, Five faults. She's been a little bit naughty on her contacts occasionally. She'll make her get this one, hopefully. Yep, no problem with that. If she can get through to the final. It promises to be a good competition between uh, four or five, any of the four or five of the mediums. Well done, Sean. Just fast this time. They're in the lead in the mediums Just at the moment. See how far the miss was. Five faults there. Ooh. I'm sure we will get a clear round. For these medium dogs, there are only 13 of them taking part, and um, we've got Helen Anderson on the start line now with a little Kelpie cross demon, it's called Jersey champion Dinky Demon and Down Under. Last year's medium championship winner, and she is done so well with this dog. Uh, they've really got it together. I don't want to put the commentators curse on. No, say no more. Say no more. We come from Norwich. Uh, so, oh, come on to that. the glory of East Anglia. They're good so far. Just yes, their first clear round for the medium dogs, 32.02. It's about communication, Peter. Well, I think we're going to see her doing the wall in just a minute. Uh, this dog will start to turn, and it takes the right side of the wall. Just that's where you save your time. Wow. Yep, that was a quick one. Very nice. Well, this time we've got Nancy Hudson just leaving Zeki or Zeki, this little Chelsea, three years old, leaving him on the start line. Yep. So Nancy actually was the, the judge on some of the agility competitions here last year. Yeah, one of the uh, Obey Shelties. I think we're going to see Bernadette Bay who breeds them later on today. Lovely, keen dogs, purple. For agility. She was on the European team as well last year, was Nancy? Did really well. There's lots of encouragement, lots of clapping. As we've said lots of times, she just can't touch. Come on, Nancy. Oh, excellent. Well done. Another clear round. See, you wait a long time for a clear round, and like buses, they come along in multi numbers. Suddenly, we've got two clear rounds on the row there. You said we'd see. Uh, Natasha Wise later, we were looking at her when she was uh, watching the course. With Dizzy. That dog, look, it's just focused. Five Nothing else in the world matters apart from where Natasha is. Just got to sit and, and watch. You can hear her. Oh, well done, yeah. Natasha. Yeah, you're allowed to talk. You're allowed to do anything except touch them, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely anything. However you want to control your dog, that's how you do it. And they saved the time on that corner. That was the same kind of jump, wasn't it? Yes, absolutely. The dog she picked that on its own. Oh, this is quick. They're going into the lead. Oh, my word. 31.29. Changes behind the dog walk. Now she's calling, calling. Yeah, well done. Oh, this is excellent stuff. The way she came around there. Wasted no time. Oh, nice little miniature poodle here. Six-year-old Riley with Michelle Henderson from Edinburgh. Can qualify for this uh, same competition last year at Crofts. Yep, got a lot to say for itself, Peter, but it's uh, just having an absolutely fantastic time up there. Seesaw must touch the ground before they get off, leading it away because she wants to turn in front Whoa! of the A-frame. Oh, Ooh, made it. Too much. Just made it, but it's slow. Slower, but uh, they're still, uh, still well on the way for a clear round. It will be slower, but they're going to get through very comfortably, I would say. Oh, oh that's a back jump. Oh, shut up, Peter. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> 
I hasten to say that was Peter telling himself to shut up. Yes, <laughs> that was me. I was just so annoyed with myself. Mind it would have still done that even if I hadn't said it, but it does seem that whenever we say something like that, the dog mucks it up. Oh, absolutely. What a shame. Now we've got uh, young Stephen Richardson next with the little go. Orders, starters orders. And she's well in front of the dog, almost went too far. Well done. We're already on to the next dog on the course, Stephen Richardson with Libby, this crossbreed, five and a half years old from Wigton. They got started very quickly in there, well around the course and the clear at the moment. Yep, this dog's already an agility champion, Stephen, quite a young handler still, maturing in the last couple of years, certainly uh, doing a lot better, really getting a grip of this dog now. It's five and a half, half is it, Peter? Yes, it is. Nicely handled. And, and it's a good time clear, about fourth place. Very nice, pushing the way through, good test of confidence. Now we've got a duck toller. We've got the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, five-year-old rogue on the start line with Amanda Hampson, called Shore Dancer, which is quite appropriate for a duck toller. You see them on the shore wagging their tails, attracting the ducks. No, stay there. Stay very there. good dog, not this very consistent. Stay still. Uh, was a member of the World Championship team, won a bronze, overall bronze team medal at the World Championship last Fantastic. year. Yep. Fantastic. Nice breed, isn't it? Very keen. She's a very experienced handler. She's got two, I think. Uh, this is a younger one, just coming on now. Well, so coming on, it's, it's come on. She's going to just send the dog, call it tightly around there, and she's going to cross behind the wall, I would imagine. Yep, there she goes. Very nice. Lots of encouragement. She, she, she's a lot closer to the weave, just making sure that the dog doesn't make a mistake. Yeah, lots of encouragement. This is good. Not terribly quick, but they're uh, into sixth place, I think. 35.32. Just double checking with her there, you can see. A little bit of hesitation, but uh, still a really good round. Last to go of the medium-sized dogs. Rebecca Patrick with Kia, working sheepdog, five years old, from Scunthorpe in Lincolnshire. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how many times she's been here. I watched her this morning, Peter, and uh, she didn't look that quick, but I think she's found her feet now on this carpet and really struck the stuff today. Look at that. I'm very Peels proud off. to be taking part in this championship competition. There we go. No problem now through the weaves. They're going to be just a little bit slower, so not going to. Oh, got away with it! Got away with it! You can't manage it. Lost a bit of time. 34.6 and clear, and that completes the medium. And it does mean that Natasha Wise will have won the medium uh, uh, in this particular competition, and certainly will be qualifying for later tonight as the course is now lowered yet again to give us the size for the small dogs, the jumps for the small dogs. So they're moving them down to 35 centimetres, Peter, which is the maximum height allowed. And we've said uh, a couple of times already, nothing else moves apart from the tyre, the long jump and the uh, obstacles. Just interestingly enough, it's the only competition we have in this country where the equipment that they use is stipulated. You have a choice what you use. In an agility course, normally you have to have two contacts. Um, that is one of the three that we've got out there. But this says you must have long jump, tunnel, pipe tunnel. So Soft tunnel, rigid tunnel, yeah. It's yeah, got yeah, to be in there. Room. He doesn't have a choice how he, how he uses it. He does have a choice how he is. He can, put them, he can put them wherever he likes. Yeah. Dawn Weaver now with Puzzle, her six-year-old Papillon. Ooh, oh, my word. That was nearly awkward, but anyway, they got away with it. This is just such a little ball of fluff, isn't it? Lovely. It's great to see them doing this. I mean, like Mary Ray using her pack when she's uh, uh, doing heel work to music sometimes. We've got Dawn Weaver doing this wonderful agility with this little dog. It is great. Look at that in the weave. It's just fabulous. Being such a small dog, the weave's almost straight, isn't it? <laughs> just That's a clear round. We haven't got a clock on it. We'll have to wait for an official time. Just, just floats. It really does. Here we go. 
Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. As you say, just almost straightens them out. It almost has to put in three paces in between each weaving bowl, doesn't it? <laughs> Not fair. Anyway, we still haven't got the time for that, but it was pretty good. Uh, Sharon Brewster now. Let's hope the clock starts on this one with a miniature poodle, Ruby. Eight and a half uh, years old. Champion, agility champion, up and over limited edition. They come from Bourne in Lincolnshire, very flat part of the country. Not much to jump at in Lincolnshire. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <laughs> yeah, no, it gets plenty of practice, I can assure you of that. And, it, and it, apparently it does draw breath uh, occasionally between obstacles, this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little thing, nice going dog. very see nice. The, the handler the disappearing out of shot there, that's how far in front they get. She changes in front again. We've seen several different ways of doing that this afternoon. In her case, it's to make sure the dog is on the contact point so it doesn't jump off, isn't Double it? Double footed through there. Well done. It's a good time. It's oh, clear sure. again. 38.01 clear for Sharon Brewster. Still haven't got the time for Dawn Weaver, but uh, we'll be giving it later. 34.69 it was, so she's in the lead. But we're looking at Clive Foden. Maisie is a miniature poodle on the start line. Clive Foden comes from Whitchurch in Shropshire. Little dog's nearly three. Yep, Clive, always an enthusiastic handler. Uh, he's been on the circuit for uh, a couple of years now. Oh, I don't know where he thought he was going there. Going quite wide. First time at Croft. The so nerves will be jangling like mad. Maybe they've lost them by now because they've started, but they've been very nervous waiting. Lots of encouragement. Waits for the dog, as you say. Almost looked as though he was going to touch it then, but uh, that's absolutely fine. No problem with what he did. Oh, he does a blind turn. This is good again, not the quickest. But it's clear, another clear round. They're doing very well, these little dogs. 37.37. So lying there at the start is a little German Spitz, the Mittel side. Five years old, it's called Rupert. Sam Lord is the handler, and she's now then taking it wide around. Oh, very wide round. So losing time, but making sure there was no chance of a mistake there. And again, she wanted the dog to come round her. She's a bit late getting there, and she's just wasted probably a couple of seconds. You can't afford to do that. But this isn't the final. This is about getting to the final. Qualification so. is all important. Although, depends how many clear rounds you get, Peter, because you can be out even with a double clear if they've all gone quicker. Yes, 50% of the top rounds can go through. So well done. It was clear anyway, 38.94. They're in fourth place. Sends the dog in front of her. Just waits a bit long, you see. Asks the dog to come round her. That was a really good shot, as you say. So now we've got uh, another miniature poodle, four-year-old Amy, with Chris Park. Unfortunately, uh, picked up an elimination this morning. So they can't go through to the event tonight. Five o'clock oh, tonight. The that, oh, and there's an elimination. That would have killed it for them anyway. What a shame. Didn't help. I think he almost overbalanced and fell over. And I think by the time he collected himself, he uh, uh, it was too late. Such a shame, because I know Chris is uh, really, really keen. Almost uh, running into the A-frame there. Little and again, yeah, I think it's just unsettled him slightly. Interesting little point here. It says it, uh, um, they've been to Crofts once before, Chris and Amy, but found it rather scary. And I think it's probably the occasion that's got to them. Yeah, it's a great crowd in here, as you say. It uh, can be quite uh, overpowering, really. And I think we're just going to see, uh, as you say, as he turns, he just, yeah, almost stumbles there. He's so disappointed, you can see that. Yes, you can indeed. Oh, unlucky. Oops. Never mind. He'll be there back again, I've no doubt. Now we've got Dawn Weaver again with Chelsea. We've seen this little dog and Dawn working together. This is 11 years old. Tremendous winner in the past. An amazing dog retiring after the competitions this year. 11 years old. 
One's just, about, one's just about everything there is, I think, uh, this dog, and you, you think, oh, it's going to be last year, and I know it is this year, but it uh, goes on and on, probably going as well as I've seen it go for the last year and or so. And still that lovely turn there. This is so such good handling, such a good dog. Excellent. Nice cross behind, come on. Well done, Chelsea, 35.5. Not as fast as her other dog, but it does put her into second place. She's first and second at the moment in Home Wheel. <laughs> and not for the first time. Well, you said we'd see Bernadette Bay later, the breeder of the Obey Kennels, with Zaz, his Sheltie, three years old. Look at that, smart for the dog. And Bernadette, this dog's only very young, went to the World Championships, and she is the small uh, individual bronze medalist this year at the World. Great achievement for a young dog. It is great that all these uh, handlers are now getting the opportunity to compete in international events against the best on the continent and from further abroad as well. Absolutely fantastic, Peter. In fact, we've got uh, a Dutchman competing in our championships in a minute or two with a really good little dog. Look at that. No time wasted at all. Come on, Bernadette. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yes, very good. 33 points. She's gone into the lead. Yeah, look at this. Runs all the way down. Doesn't waste a second coming down the A-frame there. Well done. Now we've got last year's winner, Peter. Greg Derrick, yes. We've already seen him with a large dog, but now he's here with Scout. He's working sheepdog and Jack Russell Terrier Cross. Eight years old, this dog. Doesn't own the dog, just uh, use it, runs it in the, in the classes. Yeah, Wendy Clay's dog, uh, but Greg uh, handles it really well in the championships. As I say, he's uh, won it last year. I'm not even sure whether he won it the year before, Peter, but... Uh, He's, well, he's won several dog. times at Crofts, uh, four times world champion. Uh, but uh, well. the annoying part about it, he says he didn't even do that much practice with the dog, but uh, it's such a good dog, just takes his command. Well done, Greg. 34.72 puts him in third place. We keep on saying it, this is a qualification event for the agility finals which take place at 5 o'clock this evening, uh, but it also is a competition in its own right, so there are prizes for the winners, uh, both the small, the medium and the large, as there will be this evening. This is Amy Lawson's dog, Fudge. It's a five-year-old Sheltie, come from Shaftesbury and Dorset. Quite wide there, losing a bit of time. This dog already an agility champion, agility champion, a million to one. So to become go. an agility champion, they've got to get three tickets, is that right? Uh, yes, correct. Three championship events. And if they win here and they've only won once during this year, the Crufts is a special exception, counts as two tickets. So they, yeah. Excellent. Well done, Amy. Nice. Wow, 35.42, that's in third place. Did or fourth place, rather. Did exactly what she needed to do. Concentrated on getting the dog round. A lot of clear behind. rounds in this. It'll be tragic to do two clear rounds and not go through. Neil Moyer here with Jasper, the seven-year-old cross. Whoops. And an Oh, dear. He's so disappointed. Second year running in this. The St. Jasper got spooked by the band last year before the final. <laughs> and now, I don't know what spooked it this year, but uh, they unfortunately they've lost out. Trouble is, it all happens so quickly out there, Peter. It looks, it looks really easy from up here, but to, when you're down there, you've not only got to think about where you're going, where you are in relation to everything else. You have to have good spatial awareness. And on top of that, you've got to be aware of where the dog is. Uh, at all times, so it's... The dog making yeah. serious mistakes now, but uh, Neil, very disappointed. You saw his hands go up to his head when he made the mistake. Here it'll go, watch this. Now he's lost, now he lost himself. He, lost, he yeah. didn't know where he was, he knew he'd made a mess of it. Look at that, oh dear. Feel for him. Now here's our Dutchman, isn't it? This is Mark Valk with uh, uh, Yade, Sheltie. Ten years old, this one. 
Yep, qualified at Dogs in Need uh, Agility Training Society show this year. The Dutch always send a large contingent over for a week's holiday because uh, that's a week-long show and won the championship, did fantastically well. And you can see why. Clear so far. Oh, he's having a great time, that dog, isn't he? That's is a noisy one too, isn't it? Lots of barking. This is good, this yeah. is quick. Not quick enough, 34.96 will put them in third place, I think. Yeah, he'll be in the mix or this evening. Wasted just a little bit of time, you can see. Any hesitation, loses time down these contacts. Now the turn of Dave Alderson. Yeah. Second time in the ring in this competition now. Dave Alderson again with Libby the Toy Poodle, eight years old. <laughs> this is one of my, you, don't, you shouldn't have favourites, but uh, I just love watching this dog run. It's just fantastic. It's like lightning, isn't it? It's got a new lease of life. I thought it was slowing down slightly last year, but I saw it run this morning and he's just having a ball. Oh, fantastic little dog. Oh, my word, this is great. Just so good the time, it's good time too. Whoops, yeah, still got back on course. Yeah. My word, such One attention. of the characters, I think, uh, oh, this on the is circus. Fabulous. This could go into the lead here. Oh! Where's he gone? Oh, no, no, no. What happened? Missed the tunnel completely. I lost just... the course, lost the course. Oh, Dave, what a shame. I'm mystified. How did they get that? Oh, it went the wrong way. He lost it. I think Dave got the course wrong. Dave yeah. lost it. The only explanation, Peter, I yeah. think. I'm just, uh... Oh, what a shame. Debbie Cookson here, starting very close up to, uh, to her dog as she set off. This is Bert, a terrier poodle cross, nine years old. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, and five there for Debbie. This was Debbie's first agility dog. They've been part of the Cheshire Dog Display oh, team. Oh, a bit of a collision a there. <laughs> Between, uh, yeah, unfortunately, she went up the uh, dog walk. Uh, so that was the elimination. That's uh, unlucky there. Almost having a collision with uh, Bill Glover. But uh, everybody's safe. That's Never great. Mind. What a lovely, lovely training exercise. So a lovely dog at, oh, for yeah. Naughty little thing, and then the seesaw must be touching the ground before they get off it. Not even close. <laughs> Samantha Lane with Twiggy. Twiggy's a three year old working cocker spaniel from Milton Keynes. So I think this was the winner this morning Ooh, in the very jumping wide meter. There. A lot of time. I the winner of this morning's competition. Yep. Yes. And the jump in. Oh, now again, wasted a bit of time, waited for the dog to come around them. Trying to play it too safe, really, Peter. She took the dog very wide, actually, yep. into the third and fourth uh, jumps, and the, that will have cost time, too. But they seem to be picking it up a little bit now. They're quite quick oh, at the moment. Five for refusal. Five. So that puts them out of it, I think. Three refusals anywhere on the course is an elimination, unfortunately, but that won't happen here, I'm sure. No, there we go. Only five faults then. Really good time, 38.51. Yeah, really wide there. They may qualify for tonight, but they may not. We'll wait and see what the combined points are. Neil Moyer, uh, Moyer again. Uh, with Megan, this nine-year-old cross. Yeah, managed to run around the dog. Bit of a dangerous manoeuvre there, but he got away with it. Oh, now how many how many faults is he going to put there? Oh. That's interesting. Oh, and now an elimination. Yes. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. Um, I'll talk about the seesaw in just a minute, Pete. That's a really interesting point, but. Uh, Unfortunately, an elimination. You'll be, you'll be gutted about that. But it, these things do throw you when they happen. Yes. Just, so, just went from, from bad to worse, didn't it, then? That's yep. really unfortunate for them. We talked just now about the seesaw must touch the ground, but they've also got to get the contact. So he's gone over halfway, he hasn't tipped it, and he hasn't got the uh, contacts. That's 10 faults. Oh, which is an elimination. What a shame. 
Jeanette Tandy now with Betsy. This is six-year-old Cory Cross come from Peterborough. I think she got second this morning. Um, as you say, just making the dog wait while she gets to the end and picks up the right end of the tunnel. She's a constant battle with this dog, but it's fabulous. I love what it's like a collie with no legs at it all. It is very short leg, and I, I thought there was something like a Dachshund might have been involved there in the breeding, but I'm told it was a Jack Russell and a, and a farm collie that produced that. Oh, my word. She certainly got this the speed to well. win this. This is fast. Yeah, it's very good time. Oh, the clock didn't stop. Manual timing to run. get this right. It's about 35 seconds, something like that. But we'll get the accurate time in just a moment. 34.81. Going towards the end of this competition now. Spice is a working cocker spaniel. He's six years. Uh, she's six years old. Rosie Cavill is handling there. From Newport in South Wales. Nicely handled there. They see the way she backed away from that jump. Rosie suffers a great deal from her nerves, so I know her heart's going to be pounding going around here. Fantastic little job, the dog this uh, full of potential. Oh, and that's the danger of and trying to get in front. There, yes. So it's interesting that the, the success has been the handlers have stayed this side and not crossed over until they reached the wall. And that time Rosie was on the wrong side. She, oh dear. she and raced the dog um, and then was continuing to back away from the obstacle as the dog came to it. But never mind, she'll be gutted about that. Well, we've got uh, two to go. There she goes, look at her, she's still going backwards, she's running away from the obstacle. Yep, great shot there. Safi is a miniature schnauzer, four years old. Louise McGovern from Lower Darwin. And, oh dear, and I'm right at the beginning. Yeah. Now, has she given up? No, come on, that's it. Pick it up again, that's it. But Louise is uh, definitely eliminated from uh, this competition and, of course, for eliminated from the championship final at 5 o'clock. We'll get a full listing later. We won't get it immediately, but uh, the points have to be totted up and we'll get the full list of the qualifiers for the final uh, a little bit later on. Well, you are eliminated anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But getting a little bit confused there. I think whatever happens, we've still got one more dog to run. I think whatever happens, Peter, we're in for uh, a treat again this evening. We've uh, had some fantastic agility over the last three days. We and, have, uh, and we've had some terrific clear rounds in this small competition now. Uh, it's, it's, it, there may be some sad disappointments there with uh, double clears, which aren't going to get through. Anyway, here we come with the, the last one, Mandy Sue Sarty with Izzy, her pattern del Terrier, six years old. Come from Earl's Cone. Got the bling collar on as well. Very distinctive, that collar. Oh, wasted a fair bit of time there. Fastest qualifiers are going to get through if they're clean. Oh, and that's an elimination, so they aren't going to go through at all. Yeah, that's the dog was shame. checking in with her as it came down there, and I don't think she just she didn't peel off far enough to the left, unfortunately. It's all about body language. Didn't go she far does enough. say, Mandy, that, that she's never sure what's going to happen when she runs easy. She's never sure if it's going to get round the course. No, doesn't has a little mind of its own. Okay, right. Now <laughs> let's concentrate here, people. No, give it uh, up. Give up. We're not going to get through the weave anyway. No. Yeah. I think Mandy Sue just wants to get out of there now. now. Where's it going? <laughs> Vanished and reappeared. Yep. So there we go. I think um, she just said, what was that all about, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, wrong way. Sorry. Oh, dear. I know, I know we're weepers. laughing. That was just, I know. just ridiculous. I know we're laughing, Peter, but uh, you just, when you're out there, you just wish the ground would open up and swallow you. Uh, you do, uh, trust me. Um, <laughs> but there's nothing you can do. You've got the smile. You've got to keep going. And uh, come yeah. on, no.
He's probably in oh, tears. Good stuff. Well, there we go. That's the competition, and we do have a re we will have a result shortly for the winners in each of those three disciplines for the large, medium, and small. In that order, we'll have the presentation, and later on we'll uh, be getting all the list of who's qualified for the final. But as we say, it's rather complicated. The points have to be added from the jumping competition to the agility. They get sorted out there. And then 50% of the large dogs in the top half that, have, that, that could qualify will go through. And the same with the medium and the same with the small. So we're going to end up with something like 20-odd uh, dogs, maybe a little bit more, in the final this evening, 5 o'clock. It's going to be a terrific one. I know Graham's looking forward to it, but here comes the presentation. Sean Ellingworth and Eddie leading them out, followed by Natasha Wise and Dizzy, and then Bernadette Bay with Zaz. What a star studded lineup we've got. So, one large, one medium, one small. The winners being honoured only. And the winners of the large championship judging round with Sean Ellingworth with a clearance 31.22. Dave Ray making the announcements in the ring. Bill Glover making the, the presentation. From what you said beforehand, Graham, it was a predictable win almost, that one. Uh, yeah, I never like to predict anything, but uh, if she gets it right, she does take some beating, I'll tell you. Bernadette Baines as individual bronze medalist at the World Championships this year. Well, fantastic entertainment, and we will have a final well deserving of its place in the big arena here at Crufts 2012. What a show this has been so far, as far as the entertainment factor has gone on in this ring over the four days. We've had some stunning things going on, some stunning performances and some wonderful, wonderful competition. And, uh, of course, in the breed competitions as well, well, that has been, that's just shown up how international Crufts has become because of the five dogs that have qualified so far for the Best in Show competition, three of them are not British. They come from uh, Slovakia, they come from Sweden, and they come from Hungary. Three of the dogs qualifying come from abroad. So the foreign entry growing every year and the foreign winners getting very, very successful here. So here's the uh, score, the uh, confirmation of the result they've just seen there. The small competition was won by Bernadette Bay with Obey. It's got Pizzazz, that's Zazzy. Uh, the medium won Natasha Wise, one with Rianne. I love that name, Rianne's flipping neck. And the large one with Sean Illingworth, Zanny's got, I'm glad they have pet names, Crystal Edition. They were the large one.